Hey guys, this is Cody from Knit Grid. Today we're going to be working on this gorgeous lace edging with Garter Ridge dishcloth. It's a fairly large dishcloth, it's pretty big. I made it along 50 stitches on its widest part. And this is not my pattern, it is a pattern that I came across when I was learning how to knit at a knitting shop in Pennsylvania. And it's one of my favorites. Um, it matches perfectly with this really neat to washi tutorial that we came out with earlier this month, so be sure to check out that. If you're a written pattern kind of person, be sure to find in the description below our written pattern tutorial, which will be on Ravelry. For this project you will need worsted weight cotton. I am using I Love This Cotton by Hobby Lobby. You can typically make two dishcloths out of one of these skeins. You will also need size 8 knitting needles. You can use your long needles, but I prefer to use circular knitting needles when I'm knitting. Alright, now let's get started. You are also going to need a darning needle to go along and sew in all your ends. So, forgot about that, but you're going to need a darning needle. So to begin with, I rolled up this into a ball. Let that roll back there. I'm going to use a long tail method to cast on four. I'm using my circular needles because they clank less on the wood, so that's why. And also just because I prefer them. So I've done my square knot. I'm just going to do my cast on one, two, three, four. Now I've got four stitches on this needle. Your goal is to slip one at the beginning of every round, and then you're going to knit one. You're going to yarn over, and then knit to the end of the row. That's two. And you're going to want to do this until you have 50 stitches on your needle. Once you have 50 stitches on your needle, you will be able to come. So now we are flipping. I'm going to show you that again. We slip the first stitch. We knit the next stitch. We yarn over and we knit to the end. One, two, three this time. this time. We flip again and we repeat. We do this until we have 50 stitches on our needle. So we're 10 repetitions in and you can already see the shape starting to form. This is the corner of the dishcloth and we keep just going that way. We just keep going in the, that direction. And so we just slip, knit, Yarn over and knit to the end. Each row gets longer as you go, making the dishcloth wider. If you wanted a wider dishcloth, you could very easily just take it into being 70 stitches or even 100 stitches. Just keep going and follow the repetition. You can just keep going. And you will over here go over the slip stitch. Just go over it and knit it like any other stitch. It's a little awkward, but you can do it. Alright, I'll see you when we get to 50 stitches. Okay, so now that we've reached the 50 stitches, we're going to start doing our decreases to make this nice little triangle into a square. How you're going to want to do that is you're going to want to slip this stitch, knit two together, yarn over in the middle between, and then knit two together. You're going to continue just knitting to the end, and then you're going to repeat that until you only have four stitches left. Slip, we knit two together, slip, yarn over, and knit two together. And then we knit to the end repeat this until we only have four stitches left. We are decreasing one stitch every single round. 
When you have four stitches, you'll want to cast off, and I'll show you how I do that in just a moment. Okay, so now we've gotten it down to eight stitches. It's gonna seem like it's weird, but it's not, I promise. You're gonna act like that slip stitch is just a normal stitch, and it might be a little bit harder to knit two together with that, but I promise you it'll be fine. So now we flip, we slip the first stitch, just like we've been doing this entire time. We knit two together, we slip, we yarn over, we knit two together, and you'll notice that the next stitch is a slip stitch which we knit to the end. Okay, so now we slip this one off, we knit two together. yarn over and then you've got your slip stitch right here which you're just going to knit two together with the previous oh I missed it going to slip stitch that knit two those two together that slip stitch off I mean and then knit to the end and we are currently down to seven stitches six stitches so we just got to do two more repetitions of this all right now we slip this off knit these two together we yarn over and then the yarn over from the last row is here so we're gonna knit that yarn over and that stitch together off and then we knit one we're down to six I mean down to five <laughs> I can count so we're down to five and here this is where we turn this into four stitches so here I like to start casting off while I'm turning this into four stitches because it makes it so that it's an even edge. This is my little technique that I do that I've noticed that a lot of people don't do. So I slip that off just like it would any other time. I knit these two together. That's a slip stitch, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So let's try to widen that up a little bit. There we go. Those two, a little tight. And now I take this previous stitch and I bring it over. And I also want to yarn over and then I'm going to go over that yarn over with my previous stitch. I'm gonna knit these two together and then take the last stitch and bring it over. So now I create this nice big loop. I cut it. Feed it, take this away, feed this tail through my big old loop, and we're done. So notice that there's a nice hole right there that caps up the edges. So now we take our darning needle and we sew it in, and then we're done. Nice big dishcloth. Alright, and now you have your awesome dishcloth. And if you want a nice little cute matching sponge, this matches actually fairly well. And we have a YouTube tutorial video on how to make this cute little Tawashi. So be sure to check in the description for a link to that. We'll also link it at the very end of the video. If you liked this, please do hit like. It does help our channel out a lot. And subscribe to our channel. We have a ton more videos, a ton more tutorials coming as well. So feel free to check those out. Alright. Until next time, guys. Bye.